In this video, I'm going to do just a quick overview of downloading and importing um, some of my presets and preferences into your version of WaveLab Pro if you'd like to. You can download and install like my entire preferences or just certain preferences for certain areas such as the CD wizard or rendering presets. Um, first, I'm going to just demonstrate how to load in the whole entire folder and then that will help you know if you just want to grab certain settings. Um, because WaveLab comes with, of course, factory settings and presets, but I've added a lot of things and customized a lot of things over the years. And some of that's going to make sense as you watch some of the um, videos that I've made and continue to make um, as far as loading in some of my preferences and settings. But also you can back up um, your actual preferences so that if you have to reinstall your operating system, if you get a new computer, or if there's a, a handful of computers you use, you know, I use... I have a studio and then I have a home studio set up and I also have a laptop. So I like to keep all my computers in sync as far as all my settings and preferences. So WaveLab makes it really easy to access the preferences folder and back them up and, and do a lot of cool custom things. So um, the first thing you may want to do is go to my website, which is wavelabhelp.com. And in the presets page, you can see I have a couple of downloads. The first one is my entire preferences folder. And then I'm going to be adding to this, but there's render presets, metadata preset. If you just kind of want to grab certain things without, um, without resetting your entire preferences folder, because you may have a lot of things going for you that you like. So I'll show you how, again, how to just grab certain things. If you just want to add to what you have. But if you're kind of new to WaveLab or just starting out, or if you just want my entire preferences, you just go to download file. Now this was done on a Mac, so most of the settings are transferable to Windows, like render presets, CD wizard, things like that. But the keyboard shortcuts, that's a little experimental. If you're a Windows user, you may want to, you know, proceed with caution or just kind of see what happens. Honestly, I've, I'm not, I don't have a Windows machine. But also, if you go to the downloads folder, sorry, downloads page, um, you can download a PDF of the default shortcuts to look at. Um, you can download a PDF of my current shortcuts, and then there's a, a PDF of the Windows um, shortcuts, and that might help you reconfigure my, um, if you're a Windows user, it might help you reconfigure some of my Mac shortcuts over to uh, Windows. So um, let's go see what I've downloaded. It's a zip file, so you just double click to unzip it. And it's going to create a WaveLab Pro folder. And it's basically got four subfolders and two files. And um, as you dig around in here, you can see there's a bunch of other files. General.dat, that stores just a lot of general settings. Keyboard shortcuts, of course, is the keyboard shortcuts. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, the cache, you know, plugin registry is a big one. If you don't want to have to do a long plug-in scan and you're resetting your folder, you can um, move this to your desktop, redo your folder, and then put this back in there and it won't do a plug-in scan. Um, presets, this is a big one. Some of them are self-explanatory, like um, rendering montage. These are the render presets for within the montage. The CD wizard, pretty self-explanatory. Um, but some things like the metadata preset are hidden in... Um, audio file format, wave file attributes. I'll go over how to more easily find this stuff when you're inside WaveLab, but this is what it looks like when you download it. Um, so we're just going to kind of leave that there for now, and I'm going to open up WaveLab. Because I want to be able to, I want to tell you how to find your preferences folder. So if you're not sure where your preferences folder is for WaveLab, you just open WaveLab, go to the preferences option here. It's going to open this page and you go to preferences global general and there's a clickable button here called open setting folder you can click on that and that's going to open the mac finder or can kind of expose where where um wave lab looks for the settings and preferences on your computer and as you can see i've already saved this in the sidebar as a favorite but if it just opens as a window kind of like this you know, you can just click and drag it over and put it in your sidebar as a favorite. 
Um, so let me open up side by side here, the downloads. So you basically want to take some or all of my folders and files and bring that over to your folder. Now I do suggest quitting WaveLab while you do this. So I've just quit WaveLab. And so for example, on the left side, this is my actual preferences folder, as you can see by the path name. You could delete all those and simply drag my preferences over. It's really important to keep the folder and file structure the same. You wouldn't want to drag this entire WaveLab folder into your WaveLab folder. Um, I've actually never tried it, but I don't recommend it. So you really want to just keep the folder structure exactly the same by deleting the preferences that are in your folder and then going to mine, which I may have deleted, but it's okay. Get them back right here and just drag them all over. And now your now my preferences are in your preferences folder. And the next time you open WaveLab, you'll have all of my preferences. Now, if you are a, an existing user of WaveLab and you have a lot of things um, set how you like, you may not want to um, lose any of that. So you could pick and choose what you'd like to grab for my settings. Um, so you could simply go to presets. If you only wanted my CD wizard settings, you could go in the CD wizard and just grab the ones that you wanted and then go over to your folder and put them in there. Of course, they have the same name, so they're going to um, ask if I want to replace, but that's how you could just get certain settings. Or if you just wanted my metadata preset into your folder, you could go to presets, um, audio file format, wave file attributes. Now this isn't very intuitive, but these are the metadata presets. So you could copy mine and then go to your folder and simply paste them over there. And now you've got my metadata preset in your folder. So that's kind of how that works. You just got to be really careful to keep the um, folder structure really um, intact because I, uh, I've actually never tried deviating from that, but I wouldn't suggest it. So back to WaveLab. I think it's going to do a quick plugin scan because I've updated a few plugins since um, I've uploaded my preferences. Nothing to worry about. It's just a rescan uh, any plugin um, updates from the other day. So um, when you open WaveLab, it could look like that. This is sort of the default layout. I like to go to Workspace and choose my layout, which floats the master section. Pressing Control M, as in master, will toggle that. Um, as you may know from watching the videos, I really don't use the master section for anything um, other than hosting this um, external metering plugin. So I just keep it hidden most of the time. Um, one strange thing about loading in my preferences is that the loudness meter is sort of a, I don't know why it's like this, but it's a hidden file. So let me just load in an audio file here. And show you what I mean. By that. Let's see. I'm just going to load in something I've mastered for whatever reason. Um, as you can see, the loudness is being displayed in a certain scale that is not necessarily something I see used in music a lot. It's telling me that the song is plus 9.2 loudness units, which is perhaps more useful in broadcast um, or film or video, but not something we see used a lot in music. So um, this is the one thing that you're going to have to do for the loudness meter only is, of course, select the loudness meter, right click and choose settings. And in this window, there's a preset menu at the very bottom. You can click on that and choose JP Start. And as you'll see, this changes it from what was, um, let me see what it was. It was set to plus 18 uh, EBU scale. If you choose my preset, it just changes it to custom full scale LUFS. And I think as you'll see, once I play this, Maybe the end. This is kind of how we're used to talking about music loudness. This 
uh, this track, you know, this part that I'm playing is minus 10 LUFS. And I think that's what throws off some new users is um, just the fact that by default, it's in a different scale. And even if you copy my settings, for some reason, this is an invisible settings file that you have to manually just change, um, even if you grab my settings. But once you set it, um, you don't have to think about it again. It stays that way. So that's a good thing. Um, some other things, like kind of as I, as I mentioned, if you go to the metadata tab and press edit, it brings up, um, of course, the metadata window. And in pretty much most pop-up um, windows like this, if you click on the preset menu, you'll see an organize presets option. And what that does is it exposes where on your system WaveLab is storing these files. And as you can see, it's in the WaveLab preferences folder. Um, I'll try to do this so you can kind of get a, if you need to pause it and see the full path to help find yours if needed. Um, but pretty much any preset menu in WaveLab has organized presets and it will show you again where it's storing all these things and then keeps it pretty organized. So if you need to delete something, you can do that and just delete the file. Um, or again, if you are just wanting to grab some of my settings, you could go to the render area, render tab, choose organize presets. And this is going to show you all my audio montage rendering presets. And if you only wanted, you know, just those, you could go to downloads and you could f kind of find the matching name, rendering montage, preferences, presets, rendering montage, and you can just grab the ones you want or all of them. So that, that helps you kind of customize or just pick certain settings if you don't want, again, to wipe out, if you just want to use some of them and not just be starting from scratch. So again, a lot of those have that. The CD Wizard has organized presets. Um, the Meta Normalizer has organized presets. So that's a kind of a handy thing for seeing where WaveLab is storing all these things for you. Um, so that is basically how you install them. Now let's say that you um, want to back up your settings. This is where having it saved as a shortcut on the sidebar really helps because what I do is I go to, I, I click on it, I right click and it says show in closing folder and I scroll down to the WaveLab Pro folder and what I might do is put it on my desktop. So now this is a copy of all your settings uh, from your system and you can check them out and then you can just zip it up and you can put this on Dropbox or wherever you like to store stuff. And then now you have a nice backup of all your preferences for, you know, emergency cases, or if you have another computer where you want to have the same settings, you can um, do the same thing on your other computer. You just have to remember to change that um, loudness meter setting and, as time goes on, I'm going to be adding to the presets. I'll break this up, you know, CD Wizard, um, any other thing I can think of that, you know, that people may want to grab just specifically, but everything's always going to be in the, in the um, entire preferences folder down low. That's kind of the master folder of everything. So hopefully this video helps you figure out how to install some or all of my WaveLab settings and I hope you're enjoying the videos I've made. I apologize that they're not nicely scripted and edited. They're just live because that's really all I have the time to do right now. But again, um, thanks for watching them. Here's the general open setting folder. Um, that's really where WaveLab stores everything. So it's a great way to back things up um, and just because it's no fun if you get a new computer and you got to start over with all your um, settings and it, with WaveLab, it's, you know, a matter of less than a minute and you're back up to exactly how you left it. Um, even with plugins, I know I'm getting a little off track, even with plugins, you can go like this and you can organize presets. So I have um, a starting point that I like with this particular plugin. I can go to organize presets. Now, as you'll see, this is not in the WaveLab folder. This is in a different folder, but I back this, I back up this folder um, somewhat often too. I'll back up this um, audio presets um, folder so that I can also mirror that to my other 
um, to my other um, computers and things like that. So plugins themselves, the, the those go, like I said, not in the WaveLab folder, but in this folder. However, plugin chain presets do go in the WaveLab folder. So let, let's say I want to load um, a plugin chain, like I just did a few minutes, a few seconds ago. That is something that's stored within WaveLab. So if I go to this menu load plugin chain as you can see um, this path in this menu is wave lab 10 presets plugins plugin chain so that would be basically right here presets plugins plugin chains these are all the um, plugin chains that I've saved and those are handy for you know clip effects let me load in this file again. Again, it's already mastered, but um, whether it's a clip effect or montage output effect, you can, using a shortcut or manually, you can load all these plugin chains. And again, that's in the WaveLab preferences folder itself. So just a little side note about plugin chains versus actual plugin preferences themselves you know they're, they're in a slightly different place but you can easily see where they are so i'm going to wrap up this video um, thanks for watching all these and hopefully they've been helping you out